Hi there, here to do a reading today for Lottie. I've actually read for Lottie before, but uh, Lottie has asked for another reading, so here we are. I uh, am happy to do it as always. So I actually, <laughs> I actually just, uh, as usual, finished doing it on YouTube, went to upload it, and it did not successfully upload it, so I get to do it again. Um, <laughs> so here we are. Uh, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way, and it's going to be much better, and it's actually going to work, and yeah. So uh, so forgive me if I get a little lost uh, in, in how I do this. But uh, everything's all drawn out already. I'm using the smaller taut deck uh, just for... Uh, something different and so that you can see it all for your significator Lottie I chose the same card that we used last time from your previous reading the Queen of Pentacles or discs um, and just because that was what uh, the tarot chose for you I don't know your birth date still so um, I couldn't pick a significator uh, so anywho uh, what was I going to say um, there was one more thing that I wanted to say before I moved on uh, oh, uh, I'm not going to be referring to your previous reading uh, throughout this one, just because I, I tried to read this one with a totally fresh eye. I didn't go back and watch the other one. Uh, some readers might have, but I wanted to be uh, to remain unbiased uh, in what in, in interpreting what I got. So uh, so what we drew for you. Uh, Lottie was the the for covering you and this is just the Celtic cross covering you or your most directly affecting you is the Knight of Swords, uh, and crossing you is the Seven of Swords. So I said I I I I sense that this is uh, some kind of um, you you currently are in the process of of making some kind of goal for yourself. Um, you have some idea in your in your heart and you are sort of set on making it happen I think you've you've been going through a lot of the um, the actual planning of it but also some of the actual inventing of it too you know I in that I think that this is a fairly um, kind of fresh idea for you uh, but this is something that you're very enthusiastic about. I think it's something that you um, see as an opportunity for you to advance yourself, either in your career. Um, I don't see much of a financial component to this. There, there are, is very, very, well, there is no earth in your reading at all. Your reading is predominantly fire and air. And so your reading is, is telling me that you are very much, um, you're kind of in a frenetic state right now. You have a lot going on, um, and you have a lot going on in your head. And I think some of it is becoming debilitating. I think certain things you're either, I don't think you're necessarily overthinking anything, but I do think you're letting certain influences hoodwink you into either not believing in yourself or... Um, or you feel that there are more obstacles in your way to this than there actually are. You know, I think you have all the enthusiasm and desire and drive to do what it is you want to do. But I just, and, and I think you even have calculated how it should make sense. You know, I, I think that you've really realized that this is the path that you need to take. I just don't think that you see it as necessarily possible in some way. Uh, there's just an awful lot of doubt that you're you're dealing with right now, and it's getting in your way from moving forward, um, which you want to do very badly. I see it in your bottom card, which is Lust, and the covering card, which is the Knight of Swords. There's a tremendous amount of enthusiasm. Um, grounding you is the Six of, of Swords, and that tells me that the basis for your logic is also very logical. You know, it isn't from left field, and it isn't kooky, and it isn't um, it isn't poor logic in any way, shape, or form. Um, you have clearly put a lot of thought into this, and it's good thought. Um, it's just balanced, it's rational, and it comes from your own experience. You know, I think that you are letting uh, experience inform you in some way. I also think that you are moving in a transitional sense. I, I think you're moving into a period that's a little bit 
um, easier. Some of your bottom cards are a little rough. You have um, beneath Lust, you have the Two of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Tower, and the Seven of Pen of Seven of Discs. So you have a lot of strife and, and frustration and hard work and difficulty, and I think you're seeing that um, some of that negativity come to an end, which is which is a relief for you. But you're not done. <laughs> it, it just because you you've hit kind of a lull does not mean that your work is done. And I think that what you've done up until this point has been very good and and has been has been well received. I think whatever it is that you've been doing with yourself up till now has has been very successful for you. You have the six of wands in your past or what is fading away from you. Um, so you've definitely been receiving a lot of praise for whatever you've done, a lot of sense of accomplishment and pride. And pride is also something that's going on here too, you know, with the three of wands and the six of wands. You you also have a lot of pride and enthusiasm in whatever you've been doing lately. And that would probably also explain some of your um, your drive and your enthusiasm to, to, to move, make an, another step forward. Um it says that what uh, is about to come into your life or what is starting to come into your life is the Two of Cups, which is which is the love card. Um, that some powerful, uh, attractive force is about to uh, make a splash in your life. And either uh, you're going to meet someone that you're, you're going to become very attracted to or um, there, there is, there's some... Um, and I, I hesitate to call it to say, you know, you are definitely going to meet someone X, Y, Z. That's the sense that I get. I get the sense that you're going to meet someone, uh, that you, that you possibly are very, become attached, very attached to, um, there's definitely going to be a strong amount of desire <laughs> coming your way for someone or something but i hesitate to say that exactly because the two of the two of cups can mean a whole range of things that do not necessarily have to do with relationships um i think really it it, it just means that you are going to be lured by something else and that is that does not have to do with what is on your mind right now I see the Two of Cups as kind of coming as a bit of a surprise. You know, you, you have... It, it just doesn't resonate well with the rest of your reading. It's sort of an outlier. And so that tells me that that's going to be kind of an added distraction to you. And your reading is very strongly in favor of you picking a, picking a goal and staying with it. Um, you, your crowning card is the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, of course, always represents uh, putting a lot of energy into something over time. You know, it's not a burst of energy. It's it's focused um, energy that perhaps wavers, but in its wavering is able to ride out the, the situation a lot longer. It uh, is sort of an uh, indomitable force that cannot really be stopped simply because it never stops flowing, you know. Um, and I think it's saying that that's something you need to tap into. Um, I, I feel like you're giving up too soon. Uh, and, and, and Tarot really, or the voice of the, of, uh, the HGA, whatever you want to call it, I, the, 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 the voice of this reading is very clearly in favor of you, um, of you sticking it out and, and, and um, is manning up, so to speak, or womaning up here, uh, and just just biting the bullet and kind of just doing it. Uh, it, it. It says that what you need to do in order to be successful in this, to get what you really want, you, you it's not going to be easy. And the the, the unfortunate, the, the tricky thing here is that I think you hope that it's going to be easy. Your hopes and fears are represented by the Eight of Wands, and that tells me that you in some ways kind of want this to be over already and you want a quick solution to this you want this to resolve quickly uh, and but not necessarily with a lot of effort you know the eight of wands is is an interesting card because it represents focused energy but it does not necessarily represent powerful energy um, it is powerful but it's it's so fast and blinding that it doesn't have much of a lasting effect and you're looking for something that's going to give you a more permanent effect um, 
in the long run, you know, but, but if you keep focusing on it, on, um, accomplishing things in a way similar to the eight of wands, you're not going to get very far in this situation. So you, you really have to pull, pull back a little bit from the, the, um, a little bit of the over enthusiasm, I think the eight of wands can also represent that. I think part of you is getting a little carried away with this, and I think that you need to be you need to be a little bit more grounded, a little bit more realistic about all this because you don't have any earth either uh, in this. And the more that I look at that, that's concerning me that you don't have any you don't have any real practical energy in this. And I think that it's great that you have so much enthusiasm and passion for, for whatever it is you're, you've got planning. Um, and I think that you also have some really good ideas about what you've got plan, yeah, planned. But I think that you need to try to see it more as a long-term goal and less of a short-term goal. And that has certain responsibilities and, and things that you need to do that come along with that shift of of, of perception, you know. Um, I think your approach just needs to be a little bit more methodical and a little bit more gradual, you know. Don't I, I don't think that the best thing for you to do here is to jump, you know, headfirst into whatever this is. Um, I think you should allow this to percolate a little bit more and allow your enthusiasm to really grow into something that is going to be a little more long-lasting for you. Otherwise, this will not have a particularly long-lasting impact on you or your life. Um, and there definitely is a is a chance for that. You know, you don't have a lot of major arcana, as I think I said in my previous reading. Uh, I, you you don't have a lot of meat with your potatoes, so <laughs> you've got a lot of minor arcana and one, and and really only extra majors. You know, when I drew extra cards for your outcome, I got two majors, and your bottom card was the major uh, lost. But other than that, your your whole situation reads as very. Um, very microcosmic. It doesn't. It, it, there's a big chance that this will kind of just blow over, uh, and not ever really become anything. Um, but there's also a chance that this could become something really positive and good for you. You just have to be willing to work at it for a long time, uh, and put up with a lot of stuff. Uh, because your overall outcome, as it is right now, um, if you pursue things the way you are pursuing them currently. Um, and if you and if this attraction continues to distract you, I I kind of sense that you're going to either your your head's going to cool off in one way or another. Um, either your enthusiasm for whatever this is is going to blow over. Um, but I see your overall outcome as being very chill and very um, just very uh, static you know, and, and as not having a whole lot of dynamism. When right now you're full of dynamism and want to manifest that dynamism in your life. Um, but I think manifesting that excitement and dynamism in the form of, of um, a relationship is not necessarily the greatest choice here. Um, and I think either, you know, with truce, the, the four of, of swords is your overall outcome. It could mean that you're going to have to make a lot of compromises with this person uh, or thing that that is going to make uh, progressing forward for you more complicated and more difficult than it already is. Does that make sense? Um, so, uh, you know... We, and, and even further reading along, you know, you've got the star and death as your extra outcome cards. And that immediately tells me that, you know, you're going to be faced with a lot of choices and a lot of um, a lot of things to be optimistic about and a lot of opportunities. Um, but you're in order to take advantage of any of them, you're going to have to let something go in return. Uh, and whether that is the person that you've developed feelings for or something else uh, is not quite clear. I would sense that it's whatever this Two of Cups is representing that you're starting to feel in your life right now uh, that's coming into your life presently. Um, that would be my guess as it's the only other water card and I kind of sense that those two resonate with each other a little bit. Um, but other than that, you know, you, you, you have so many swords you have a 
uh, a f you don't have any Gemini, which is interesting, but you do have um, a fair amount of Aquarius and a fair amount of Libra. And uh, other than that, you have a predominance of Sagittarius over any other um, any other uh, fire sign. You know, you have Leo in your past and Aries in your present for the most part. Um, and really, I think all that this means is that you're of the energy that you possess right now and of the enthusiasm you possess for this. I think a lot of it is fairly Sagittarian like um, in that it's it's a little idealistic um, and it's it's a little fanciful. It's a little um, it's a little lofty, the goal uh, that you have. I think it's a it's a good goal for you to have. Again, you know, the reading is not saying that your goal uh, that you have set for yourself here is bad or is wrong for you. In fact, I think it says that it's really good for you. Um, it's just a question of whether or not you let yourself or other uh, aspects of your life get in the way, you know, uh, of, of your development. Um, you know, so... I don't... Hang on. Ooh, excuse me. Uh, no, you have pretty much all different planets. You you have a little emphasis of the moon in the seven and the nine um, in the middle there. But other than that, that, that really isn't quite strong enough of an influence. Um, you have... Uh, you have a good... Well, you, you have a fair number of solar influences if you know how to look for them, I think. You know... I think that underneath this whole situation is a current of um, self-transformation and self-activation that is important for you. Uh, I do think that part of this is an expression of um, figuring out who you are and how to express that in, in your life, you know, in life in the long term. Um, I think that this has to do with that in a very subtle way. Um, and either part of this is is just maybe like learning to embrace some of the importance of that and, and to use that as your foundation for strength a little bit more. Um, and to know that that is always your goal, you know, self-expression and self-development into the person that you want to be, whoever it is, um, are always the the highest goals, you know, to, to achieve, I think. You know, it's always ultimately the, the, the leading drive, I think, in, in many of our lives. So, um, so yeah, uh, other than that, I don't believe I, I see anything uh, out of the ordinary or particularly crazy here. Um, you know, again, there is some, some hardship in your, um, in the bottom of your deck, but it's nothing that you haven't been able to deal with. Um, in fact, surrounding those cards are very positive cards, telling me that you've you've managed to get over those those roadblocks uh, fairly well. Um, and the six of wands indicates that too. So I think you know, just can keep on keeping on, uh, my dear, and just uh, you know, trust that this is that this is a good idea, and that it just needs to be grounded a little bit more, thought out a little bit more and and stretched out a little bit more. Don't feel like you have to get it done so quickly. I, I think um, if if it's perfectly fine if you don't get it done tomorrow, you know, um, if it doesn't happen this month or you know even next month or whatever, just keep on trucking. It might take up to a year. Uh, it might take more. It, but it, whatever you do, I think it says don't don't give up so easily. Allow yourself to, to stay on the roller coaster a little bit longer before you decide you want to get off of it, you know. Um, <coughs> because you might find that the place you end up is actually better or for you than where you are currently, you know. So that's really all I would have to say to you, uh, Lottie. I think, um, I think that this is a positive reading. And either way, I don't see any real negativity coming in either way, you know, with your outcome. Your outcome is positive with the Four of Swords and the Star. Death, I think, really is just telling us that with with opportunities you're coming your way, uh, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice something else to make it work, you know. 
Um, and I think you are going to be presented with some kind of choice that's going to be important. And I think that at that point, it will be important for you to remember what your priorities are. And in some ways, I think it's telling you to establish your priorities now and to to hold on to those, you know, to commit yourself to those to those promises, you know, and, and to those goals. So I hope that this helps. Uh, I hope that this accurately describes your situation and all that, uh, and that it, uh, it can help you out in any way, shape, or form. And thank you very much again for purchasing another reading. I uh, always appreciate it. Excuse me. And uh, I hope you have a nice week, and thank you so much for your patronage and support. Like, comment, subscribe, etc. And thank you again, and good luck with everything. Bye.